I finally figured out what's causing the game to freeze in certain locations like Charleston, Grafton, and White Springs. When Fallout was finally launched, I have had my settings set to Ultra, and I haven't messed with them until recently when I started encountering the freezing when I'm going to certain locations. When I had started messing with the settings, I had originally thought the texture quality setting was what was causing the game to freeze. That is because when I set the setting to low, I was no longer having the issue. And once I did this, I finally had that relief knowing I didn't have to avoid going to these locations. So at this point, I was just too distracted with actually playing the game and completely forgot to check the other display settings. Anyways, today I finally have had the time to mess with the display options further and to see what is actually causing this to happen. And there are four settings that are actually causing this. It is the actor fade, item fade, object fade, and grass fade. So as you can see now everything is set to the max setting. So now I'm just gonna walk around until I stop freezing so I can change the settings again and I'll show you what setting I'm gonna change. So I was curious to see if anybody else was having similar problems with the game and I went onto the Bethesda website to check the forums and it seems that most of the people that are having the same issue are also running an older AMD system. So this kind of confirms it for me because I also run an AMD system. So like I was saying, everything is set to the ultra or high setting right now, except for the field of view, that really doesn't make any difference. But what I'm going to do is just change the object fade, because it's the worst setting of the four that causes the freezing to happen. Alright, that's going to be about it for this video. If you found it helpful in any way, please go ahead and subscribe. If not, you know what to do. And if you'd like to get future videos like this, go ahead and subscribe. And if you have any questions, please feel free to leave me a comment below.